Howdy! We got us a pile of cars. How about that? Uh, most, I mean, all the motors and transmissions gone. Um, catalytic converters gone. There's a little bit of wire. We've got time. Uh, got a little extra help too. It's, I mean, it's 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 slowing down. Uh, let's not talk about all that. But hey, we still got some crushing to do. We're here at the yard, home sweet home, the flagpole, corporate. No, this really ain't corporate. This is just a company yard. Hope everybody's doing all right. Windy. That's why we got so much dry sweep down. Uh, that wind that wind will blow that gas around a little bit. But uh, let's crush something. Oh, look at here. We got Juan with us. Oh, this guy's been doing this stuff, folks, 25 years. I mean, he's been in the junkyard. He's been with this company the whole time. Oh, I need to, I need to push in that back door. I think what's going on is... The price is dropping, or I mean, it dropped twenty. See the see the meal, the actual steel meal. Every October, they they shut down for two weeks and do maintenance. So right now they lowered their price because they don't they don't want to fill up. They don't want to fill up. I probably should push this roof in. Oh. Woo! We sure got it in there, didn't we? Dang. Need to put a wheel under the pressure on the back side. All right, we got the hood in there. There we go, Juan. Bust her down, Bubba. Yeah, Juan's been doing this a long time. I think he gets like four or five vacations a year. Yeah, he's been here that long. Oh, I love this company. For a junkyard, wow. Uh, we get, I mean, your, your vacations increase. There's some junkyards you don't get a vacation. Six days a week, get it, boys. Uh, well, he said that car's ready. Oh, he wants me to pull the battery out. He got it tied up. We got a, a, a hybrid car over here. Golly, everybody's like, hey, man, hybrid car, hybrid car. I'm like, I saw it yesterday. I ain't got to it yet. I saw the big orange cable. Really something these days. Let me shut this door. Maybe I'll quit screaming at you. But, um... Hey, y'all got to see this shirt one's got on. Look, I love the man. I hope this doesn't come off as like any disrespect. I don't, I don't know how any other way to say it or just, he just, it's like he gave up a long time ago. No, but that hybrid thing, you really need to keep that in your brain. Um, 
I've been I've been googling images and, and photos of like hybrid cars and just uh, just trying to learn up on them because they're putting them in everything now. Let's see if we can see his shirt. Told it's a it's a Pride Gap shirt. That's a probably a really expensive shirt. It's probably thirty five thirty five forty dollars shirt. Thirty five dollars shirt. Thirty dollars. And he, I mean, he don't care. He has no idea what the shirt says, and it don't matter. I that's not the that's not the topic of the of the subject. You know, that's he don't care. I don't either. But I mean, if he finds a shirt in a car that's cleaner than the one he's got on, he's gonna change right then. Right then. Oh, hang on a second. Let me um open this hood, take a peek if there's any wire. We got time, and that stuff's actually got a pretty good, or is that a radiator still in there? I can't tell. Or is that just core support? No, I think that's radiator. Yeah, I think. I can't see. Can y'all see? Yeah, I folded the core support. goes back at the... It's in front of the core support. Or just rip out the stupid core support. How about that? Just rip it out. <laughs> I mean, dang. I mean, I don't want to make the mess. He said there's one what? Those cables or two radiators? I thought it was just a condenser. But I don't want to make the mess, but we got a little extra help. So, see how that, see, y'all see that headlight lens? All that comes squirting off. There's a little bit of cable. I don't know what to do. Man, it's not a poquito wire. Like, how much do we go after? I mean, I'm going to give it one yank. If we get any yank, no. Mario's like, screw that cowboy. All right, I get it. I get it. Don't worry about it. That poquito or nada or I mean it's just when you're when you're doing something for somebody else, next thing you know they're gonna be like, well, they didn't get very much wire, did they? You know, it's like you give them something that they can like, you know, because you know how it is. It's awful that it is that way. Not everybody's gonna pat you on the back. It's gonna be like, I'll leave. You know, I mean I could have got more wire, you know. They're not, and they're not over here looking at the cars. They're just remembering what it looked like to them. Anyway, it's like you just give them a chance to throw a rock at you. Speaking of rock throwing, I don't know. Here on Cowboy Car Crusher, we don't get off topic too much, too very often. And I think it's worked well doing that, but. This stuff with Israel and Palestine, I've been, I, my whole entire life, I'm a 1973 model. My entire life I've heard about this struggle, this conflict, this, this bombing and blowing stuff to people up. And just, I've heard about it my entire life, and I'll be 50 in December. They should, they should figure that out. Anyway, let's just pray for everybody. Yeah, Juan. He'll change pants. Oh, oh, look here. All right. One time, uh, one time we were working together and it was cold. He, he's got a normal crew that he's with all the time. Like me and Mario together all the time, but uh, I don't know. The other guy didn't come to work or something, and and me and Juan rode out together, and it was cold. And Juan found he found we popped the trunk open, and Juan found a wig in a car, and he smelled it, and he put it on. He said, "Man, it's keeping my head warm." <laughs> Golly, I love him. I hope it didn't come off like I'm talking bad about him, but. And he's a hard worker. I mean, he he gets it done, and 
uh, I hop down off the loader, start doing something. He's like, man, do you not like the way I work, cowboy? I'm like, what are you talking about, Juan? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just helping you. He goes, man, you got things that you do on that tractor, and I got things I do down here. And I'm like, oh, God dang, Juan. Just trying to, you know, we're a team out here, bro. Well, your part of the team is you stay on that loader. Okay, Juan. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. And the man remembers like everything I've ever talked, we've ever talked about. Like, every, like I'm serious. Like every conversation, every conversation. For, I'm serious. It's, he's like, "Come on, you remember?" And he'll start telling my stories that I told to him, and he remembers every bit of it. Pretty cool. I don't think my kids do. I don't think my family does. Sure, my buddies along. They're like, dude, dude, we've heard all this. <laughs> my cousin Jeff came down, and of course we were talking about my, you know, my channel. He's like, cowboy, or he's like, Jake, John, just, just start telling your stories over again. Like it's they're great. Thank you, Jeff. Juan, you want crush one? Let's crush one. I was hoping that door would have pushed in a little more now, but it's okay. We can work with it right there. Give me one second, one. Take care of this stupid door. One second, one. Oh, he's laughing at me. He's laughing at me. Yeah. Yeah, Cowboy, you think you're so awesome. He's laughing at me. I'm cheating, by the way. I'm putting it on top. <laughs> That's cheating. I should have put it back in there. It's going to fall out again. Too much cream on the taco, cowboy. Too much cream on the taco. Oh, I was laughing at you. <laughs> All right. Getting low going. One, two, three, four. We only need one more car. I'm going to crush um, that Dodge pickup that's up there. And I think I got another minivan over here. That, yeah, go Ford minivan. We'll put it on top of this one. On top of this. It'll all work out. It ain't easy being easy. Oh, he asked me about, he asked me about if he's ready for that battery. God almighty. Looks like he's still tinkering with it, though. I mean, he's still got his impacts. Let's see what's going on. What you... Chalakwa, you want me to... The seat on the door. Oh, he wants you to rip open the door on the other side. I can do that. Oh, isn't this a shame? Look at this dozer. All burned up. What a shame. Easy. Don't make a mess. I didn't even get the door all the way. That was just half the outside shell. There we go. I'll fold it too. You got it? He's happy. That's another guy. He's been here 20, 25 years. He didn't have none of that gray hair when I met him a long time ago. Great operator. Like, watching him crush cars is just like no wasted movement, no running around like I do. I mean, just great operator.
and under like just flows with it. It's it's cool. It, I mean, it's cool. I just paused it while we crushed that tide. Oh, my bad. Blame it on the editor, not me. I'm like the I'm the star of the show, so don't blame it on me. All right, it looks like we can pop a couple of these vans. I know we got another Ford pickup truck in there somewhere, so I'll come back this thing, get that radiator, and um, push in the back door. Alexander the Great Carpet Cleaning. Dang! My man went from conquering nations to cleaning people's dirty carpets. Dang! Hey, you know, it's not about station in life. It's how you carry yourself. You know, and whose opinion is what? Man, I wish I, wish I was the great. Wouldn't that be awesome? Like, cowboy the great car crusher. He's a, about to be a cowboy, the great band dropper. All right. I mean, would you rather have, I mean, think about if you had like a mountain range named after you or a school. Like in school, you know, sometime during that, uh, one of them classes, they're going to, um, talk about the history of the school. All right, I got another. Is that all they brought me? That wasn't much of a load. Something to crush. Might be the end of it. See, they're over there counting cars. They're over there counting cars. See what I did that time? I just went ahead and. Popped the core support up, got it out of my way. Now I can see everything. Boom, one pop. Got radiator and condenser. Oh, no. Condenser got left behind. It's like you're using the fork like a fingernail. You're not really poking a hole through it. Or I mean, it happens. You can get them off that way, too. Dude, look at that nasty gas coming out of that van. Woo! I don't know why, but this guy's got me. I mean, all our record drivers pull in here and they don't, they drop cars. This guy's got me. The second time he came and got me. Like, that don't, I don't know. I mean, this how stuff gets tore up and stops us from doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And there's always a chance something can go wrong out here. I don't understand this. You know, we got trucks that have been coming in and out. They're going to come in and load up for me. So I'm going to put it over here kind of out of the way instead of sticking out like that. Look at old Chucky the Junkyard Dog. How long has it been since y'all seen Chucky? He's chilling. He ain't tripping. He's probably gonna get upset I bother him. Look at him laying on some trash. Like, dang, dude. What up, Chucky? Say, man. Oh, you're laying on the... You can't find a better place? All right, I'll leave you alone. I'll leave you alone. <laughs> he looked at us like, why are you bothering us? Why are, you, why are you bothering me? Like, what, what, what is it? I got some pretty cool videos of that dog. I love him. 
I, I got a house with a backyard. I was like, golly, Chucky don't, Chucky don't got to live in the junkyard no more. Like, he could, you know, he could live in my house. But then I started thinking, he's got it way better up here than he would in my house. I mean, people bring their leftovers. Ice cream man comes in and hooks him up. The taco lady gets him a sweater or two every every winter time. I mean, he's, he goes to the vet to get checkups. That dog goes to the doctor to check on his health more than I have in 25 years. <laughs> For real. He's got that gun thing car up on his side to get that battery out. We got big bundle right here. She's like, well, let's just roll the car on its side. We already got a mess. We ain't getting under there, though. Wants making a good bundle. Squish it. All right. See, Juan paused, and he, we looked at each other. He's been doing this a minute. We looked at each other, like, "Hey, man, I'm waiting on you. You do have, yeah, go. I'm not. Anyway, there's a way to be safe out here." I don't know if y'all watched the previous video, but you can't turn your back out of stuff out here. All right, I think I see a little bit of wire. I don't know what we're gonna do. I'm gonna grab a little bit of it. If they point at some more, well. It's so hard to get. It's like trying to grab a piece of spaghetti with a 36,000 pound fork. Anyway, Juan can yank on it. It ain't much. Yeah, 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 there you go, Juan. Just hold on to it. I see your fingers. Ain't much, but at least we can say, hey, we poked at it. You know, we didn't just throw our hands up in there and walk away. We tried. Anyway, Juan will figure it out. Oh, now Chucky's up moving around. Oh, 10.30. Well, it's about time the ice cream truck rolls. Well, the snack truck will come through. Chips and drinks and... I'm gonna wait for one. Before I put this van on the rag. Let him do this thing, get out of the way. I've been doing some house cleaning. I know it don't look like it, but I've been wiping everything down and uh, I've been using a combination of this stuff and this stuff. And, um, but it, it always snaps back to this like gray, dusty, like this dusty looking stuff. I'll just sit here and do this.
I'll squirt this all down and see that's what all the tractor was that's where I ain't got to yet but anyway I'll just let that sit there a minute but it always snaps back to that that gray dusty y'all remember there was like two summers I didn't have no AC and I couldn't have the window shut and y'all seen some of these yards we go to might as well be crushing on the moon dusty Go home and blow your nose and a clay pot falls out. All right. Well, see what's going on right now is this crusher over here in the background. They've been doing a bunch of work to it. And so when the mechanic gets a free point or free time, they'll come over here and, and see the progress of that or, you know, point something out or tell him, you know, anyway, so I hadn't had got a chance yet to get him to come over here and check out our crusher. It could be one little deal and all of a sudden the remote's working again. But now one, he don't like it. He's like, man, I'm the remote control cowboy. Do you hear me? <laughs> For real. Hey, but here at Cowboy Car Crushing, all inclusive. I don't, I don't, I don't trip that way at all. I, who you are, where you're from, what color, what religion? I don't, I don't trip like that. Everybody, I'm a. Believe it or not, the way I look, you would think I draw lines when it comes to stuff like that. But I don't. I ain't. I ain't that guy. All right, well, let's set this one off to the side. Looks like we're almost done with this one. I don't see nobody doing anything. I don't see anything dripping. So, could be ready to go. There's that Ford truck I was talking about earlier. Uh-oh, maybe he's gonna go get another, another batch. I don't see him parking that trailer. All right, Alexander the Great. You might have been a conqueror, but I'm a crusher. I conquer all kinds of stuff out here. Me and Mr. John Deere, Mario. Inside? Took somebody as a tank base or something inside. Oh, wonder if it's actually got the carpet cleaning machine stuff. Well, it sure does. It's got the spool. And then um, I think what they did was they they hauled to one of these school bus. Y'all remember we had a bunch of school buses? Well, they're full of diesel. Anyway, um, that poor truck, that's what we want. All oh, this car's going to probably... Here's one thing about Hondas. Their roofs always tear out. I should really take the time and pick this thing up from the side. They always tear. Come on, come on. Go easy, easy, easy. Hey, don't use the word always. You need to be prepared for it. I'll tell you, you, know, you, you should expect it. Just because it worked that one time, I didn't I don't come to find out. That's what I love about these articulating loaders, that they turn from side to the side. You can like reach over and do some work over there. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. You can get some tight spots. Well, folks, we've almost hit that 30 minute mark. I hope you're still sticking around. I sure appreciate it. I mean, really, really appreciate it. Let's let Mario take a peek at it. It might not, I don't think I saw a tank. I don't see a tank. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's got one of them big hose reels. Oh, that broken, all that drum or rotor and spin on all that hanging out. Man, that's going to be. 
We'll figure out what we do. We get up on the truck. See how it works out. I ain't breaking that eye beam. I don't know, maybe it'll crush down in there. Maybe I broke it. Who knows? Let's see what happens. Those van doors, you know how you got to step up into a van to get in the seat? There's like a step. Well, these doors, you've got to push them and then lift up to get them to go inside. I'd like to get this axle a little more. Yeah, it was hanging out the back. That worked perfect. Knock that tire out of there. Now if we can just get it in the crusher. Got that tire rolling out. That wheel differential. Come on now. It almost rolled out on us, but I tucked it back up in there. Y'all be careful and be kind. All-inclusive car crushing. Thank you.